Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Natural Doctrine Lethal Mode playthrough. Uh, lethal Mode is the hardest difficulty, and uh, I'm just going to show you guys an effective way on how to beat Lethal Mode, because it is very, very difficult. And uh, this is going to be part four. Uh, there's going to be, I'm not really sure how many parts, but however many parts there is in this game, that's how many parts I'll have. The other three battles weren't really that difficult, so I didn't show them, so here we go. So I'm going to have Jeff be uh, hide behind the wall. I'm going to end my turn. And then we're going to have a silly move next to him. We're going to use... Uh, oh, well, first I'm showing the difficulty that it's lethal mode. Just so you guys aren't like, oh, he's playing on easy mode. Um, so I use guard for Vasily. Use Jeff to get near uh, Nebula. And now we have Nebula. So then we're moving Jeff. I'm going to move him behind this bridge here. Probably didn't really need to guard because there's no one near me yet, but that's all right, whatever. Um, so we're just going to move everybody uh, next to Jeff. Going to end our turn with Zeke. Going to move Anka here. Going to end our turn. Nevertheless, using Tranquility. Not really sure what that does. I don't remember, but um, nonetheless, it's a good thing for us. So we're going to move everybody uh, by this bridge here. And then next turn we are going to start attacking. So the soldiers attacking Nebula. Not doing that much damage, thank god. Early game it's not so bad, later on it gets worse. So did a significant amount of damage, not too bad though. So now we are going to take out, I believe we are going to be taking out the soldier. Soldier C. And we're going to use our, uh, we're going to link up our attacks so we can do uh, a significant amount of damage. So we were able to kill one of the soldiers and uh, everyone being linked up helped out a lot because when you link up you uh, do more damage and you higher your chances of a critical hit. So my gunners were able to get a few shots off which was pretty cool. So we just have a, a soldier and I believe a gunner left and then reinforcements are going to pop up. So we're just going to gang up on the soldier. So there we go. The soldier's taken down. And then we are going to take out the gunner once we get close enough because we weren't able to shoot. But that gunner was for some reason, but that's all right. So not that, it's a good amount of damage, but nothing that we can't handle, so uh, not too bad, just a gunner left, we're just going to take out the gunner, and then once we do that, the reinforcements will pop up. Nice shooting by Jeff. I ended up getting shot, but that was okay. When, when they get knocked down, they're not able to attack back, so uh, that's a good thing. So we we're able to take out the soldier. Here comes the reinforcements. And this is going to be the second part, which can be a pain if uh, you're not really sure what you're doing. So uh, I'll just let you guys know what's the best thing to do or an effective way to beat this part. Cause this, is, this is the hardest part of the other stuff the three soldiers were was nothing so we're gonna move jeff in this square we're not gonna move forward because uh, if we move forward the soldiers will be able to attack us and then they will just uh get consecutive initiatives and they will just constantly attack us and we don't want that so with zeke what i was deciding to do was i took him out because he can only fit four people in a, in a square so that's why i put zeke over there so now we're going to use rousing support which is going to increase our attacks this is going to help out uh, taking out the uh, enemies so the rousing support uh all of anka's 
support skills uh, buffs up uh, everybody. So that's what the so this one here is offensive. So the, now they're starting to move. They're not able to attack us yet because we're in the right square. So now there's a few soldiers attacking us. Nothing too serious. Have all my people here. Nice dodging and parrying. And blocking, I should say. Very, very nice. Luck was really on my side because this game could be very, very random. Alright, so now it's our turn and we're going to be taking out a lot of people here. So we're going to take out these people here. So we're going to take out that soldier there. And then we're going to have uh, Anka and Zeke attack. Uh, I think it's Soldier F. I'm not really sure, but we're going to have him attack them. And then we're going to have um, Nebula attack the gunners with his Pluton arrows. So it's best to use uh, the Pluton arrows against the gunners. At least that's what I did, and it worked out for me. But of course, just make sure you have Pluton. The upper, the uh, the bubble to the right is the uh, how many uh, grams you have for your Pluton. So I have 4.3. So for the sages, it takes Pluton to use magic. So just make sure you have enough. And then, so this is Soldier D. We're just going to take out Soldier D. But then I'm going to have Jeff take out G if I can. And then Zeke is going to help out Vasily with D. And then Anka is going to help out Jeff with G. And then we are going to use Nebula to take out the other gunner. Just to get the gunner out the way. Because the gunners can be very annoying. It sucks that Anka had to miss, but... Like I said, this game could be very random and you can ha sometimes have a high chance of hitting and then it doesn't hit. But as long as your your uh, your uh, probability is over 100, then you'll always hit. But that's not until later on in the game. So we're able to take out that soldier and kill him. Now we just have this soldier left. And the soldier is finally taken down. So that's it guys, that was uh, the Nile River Bridge on lethal mode and I hope this video will help you guys out and I will see you guys later.